guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have a very interesting figure to take a look at. This is an outdated figure, but it's a really cool version of the Spinosaurus, as you could probably already tell. This is from the Great Dinos line from Safari LTD. It's kind of an often overlooked line of dinosaur figures, I would say. I don't know why it just does not get the love that I feel like it deserves, and honestly hasn't had any actual new figures released from the line in quite a long time, which is kind of a travesty, as I really quite like the Great Dinos line, mostly because they're a bit larger than a lot of other Safari LTD figures, and I do enjoy a large figure, but Again, a really cool look for this figure overall. I definitely am a fan, and I've wanted to get hold of it for quite some time, and was only just able to get a hold of it now, finally, to add it to my collection. Before we go any further with the review, though, I do want to remind you guys that I have a code that is exclusive to this channel for you to use if you are going to purchase any Safari LTD figures today. Make sure you use the code ANDY at checkout on the Safari LTD website as they have supplied us with a really cool discount code to get yourself 15% off on any Safari LTD figures that you choose to order. So make sure you use the code ANDY again today at checkout if you are going to buy any Safari LTD figures. But this one here, again, is a really cool interpretation of a Spinosaurus. So let's go ahead and get a closer look at it right now. Starting up here at the head sculpt, you can see that the head sculpt sports some really, really nice sculpting detail on it, I think. Again, I am definitely a fan of the Great Dinos line. We can't look at this Spinosaurus, though, with uh, eyes of accuracy because this figure is pretty old. It's actually been out for quite some time. I don't know if we have a date anywhere here on the bottom. I don't really see one. That doesn't mean that it's not there. It just means that I'm kind of blind and can't find it. But the figure has definitely been out for quite some time, so... With how often dinosaurs change, but specifically Spinosaurus, you know, it's fairly outdated at this point. But regardless, it still looks really cool, and I like the coloration on it. It's a very interesting color, very interesting take on Spinosaurus with, like, yellows and oranges all over the place. You can see that the snout here has a nice orange coloration, but then it transitions to, like, a yellow here on the side of the head and then down here onto the lower jaw. And then it just kind of switches back and forth throughout the body, and you have a very nice kind of brown speckling as well. But you can see that the nostrils are sculpted out quite nicely up here on the snout. You also have that little crest there on the top of the head as far as the Spinosaurus goes. Very nice detailing here on the inside of the mouth. Really nice natural color, I would say, for the inside of the mouth. You can actually almost take note of the throat back there as well. Pretty nice looking teeth. They don't appear to be too sloppily painted. There's a little bit of sloppiness here and there. But the majority of the teeth actually look to be painted really well. You can also see an eye painted very nicely with a black and given a beautiful gloss coat right there. The eye is painted picture perfect. There is no sloppiness as far as that goes. Moving back here into the neck region, you can see some nice creasing going on in the skin of the neck. Kind of some ridges that run along the spinal column of the Spinosaurus as well. And those brown speckles start to pick up and then continue to run the course of the upper side of the dinosaur. Coming back here into the shoulder area, you can see the shoulder protruding from the skin a little bit there as we move down here into the arm. You have some pretty nice looking skin texture going on, fairly nice looking Spinosaurus hand, although I think we might have a few too many digits on the hand, but you can see the very nice Spinosaurus hand claw right there. I'm really unsure as to why we have four fingers on the hand here. If this is something that I'm just unaware of completely, when it comes to Spinosaurus and four fingers being, you know, something that was considered on the dinosaur at some point, or if this is just a mistake from Safari LTD, I don't know, but that's very strange because Safari LTD is usually very good when it comes to accuracy. But moving back up here into the body, you can see, again, some pretty nice-looking skin texture as we continue to move along the body. You can see the seam here that runs through the stomach, and that's something that's very common with these great dinos figures, as I believe they're hollow. Uh, kind of, yeah, it definitely feels a little hollow, and they're larger, so that's sort of, I guess, just how they connect the figure. You can see the sail up here looks really nice, beautiful detailing within the sail as well, and again, those speckles are pretty abundant all over the sail area of the dinosaur. You can see kind of like some scoots that run along the hip area. As we move down into the thigh, you can see some nice muscle tone there. You do have the kneecap present and some decent musculature in the calf. And again, some pretty nice looking skin texture in that area as well. Moving down into the foot, the foot also looks quite nice with some scoots running down the toes. Nice creasing right there in the ankle area. Very nicely painted nails with a black and 
they for the most part look pretty nicely painted there's not too much sloppiness going on there either and then coming back up into the body you can continue to see some really nice skin texture some osteoderms poking up here and there a little bit of like a sail like appearance to the top of the tail back here as we have a very nice curve and it transitions again to that darker orange out here. You also actually have a cloaca here on the underside, which is really cool to see, but there's some decent detail here on the underside of the Spinosaurus as well, but nothing over the top. You have some nice kind of skin movement here being shown in the throat region. If we take a look at the opposing side of our Spinosaurus, you can again continue to see how nice that head sculpt looks, but you can see some nice skin detail here again in the throat and neck region of the dinosaur. It actually looks really cool the way they've sculpted all that out. And you see those speckles pick up again. You have some more of those osteoderms and the ridges that run along the top of the dinosaur right there. Again, you can see the transitions back and forth between the oranges and like the lighter and darker oranges and then that kind of yellowish color creeping through here and there. There's very nice paint application to the figure, like the transitions back and forth between the colors are very smooth. There's just not too much paint to it, but what is included again is really nice and smooth transitions back and forth. You can see some more osteoderms picking up right here. You can see a nice arm sculpt right here on the Spinosaurus on this side. Again, I don't know why we have so many fingers on the Spino, but they are there. Some more nice skin texture here in the stomach region. You can see sort of the skin kind of wrinkling right there as the leg is pushing into the body. Again, those scoots that run over top of the hip region. Some more nice skin texture here in the thigh and calf region. And again, the fairly nice looking foot sculpt down here. And then coming back up into the tail, it pretty much looks just like it did on the previous side as it's not really all that curved. You can see it goes pretty much straight out, but just has a curve in a downward and then an upward positioning. But again, a really cool looking Spinosaurus, pretty old version of a Spinosaurus, but I quite like it. As far as the size goes on the Spinosaurus, again being a great dinos figure, it sports some pretty decent size. So for a length from the tail to the snout, you're looking at just under 12 inches. So roughly about a foot in length or about 30 and a half centimeters, somewhere in that range. And then for a height to the top of the sail, you are going to see it at about a little under five and a half inches or about 14 centimeters, somewhere around there. And one thing that's really cool about this figure is you can actually have it in a bipedal position like we see here, or again, the quadrupedal position like we just had it in. So it's really your call as to how you would like to display your Spinosaurus. It's up to you. You can have kind of this vintage look with the tail dragging on the ground, which actually I do quite like. And then for a height to the top of the head when it's actually standing up like this, again, about five inches or about 12 and a half centimeters. For a size comparison, here are some more Safari LTD figures as you have the Safari LTD Amargosaurus, the 2020 Ichthyosaurus, and the Bigfoot from Safari LTD next to our great Dino Spinosaurus. And next to these figures again, you should have a pretty good idea of the fact that the Spinosaurus has some pretty large size. It's not huge, it's definitely not a super large dinosaur figure, but it does still sport some pretty decent size to it. And for a Safari LTD figure, I would say it's fairly impressive size overall. But at the same time, it's not as big as some of the other great dinos figures, but still a pretty darn nice size. So this Safari LTD Great Dinos Spinosaurus is a pretty cool figure, but it's definitely not the best Spinosaurus that you're ever going to see from Safari LTD, although they have made some really incredible Spinosaurus figures over the years. This one is probably one of the least talked about, and I don't really know why, because it is still a really cool figure. It's something that I personally would actually like to repaint at some point, because I feel like uh, it could look really cool with a very detailed paint job on it. But even still, the paint job that we've been given here from Safari LTD looks pretty nice. It's a very bright color scheme for a Spinosaurus with a mixture of different yellows and oranges throughout the body and then some brown speckling. But I think it looks really cool and gives it a very unique feel, a very unique look. And it's definitely something that is very distinguishable because anytime I see like an orange dinosaur in a lot of dinosaurs on eBay or anywhere, I'm almost always instantly drawn to it and then aware of the fact that that is the Safari LTD Spinosaurus, the Great Dinos version. There's also a smaller version, actually, that sports a similar color scheme and similar sculpt. So there's two different variants, the Great Dinos version and then the, I guess, regular main line version from Safari LTD. But this one, again, is still in production. You can still purchase this right now from the Safari LTD website. So that is definitely a plus. But I think the sculpt is really cool on the figure. I like that you can give it a bipedal or a quadrupedal positioning for the stance that's really up to you. But again, I actually kind of like it in the 
bipedal position. I love that it has that kind of old school Spinosaurus look and there aren't very many old school Spinosaurus figures out there I feel like. So I'm definitely a fan of the fact that we have one here from Safari LTD with kind of a mixture of like a newer type of a look as the head sculpt doesn't really look very old school but the tripod position with the tail on the ground definitely gives it an old school feel. The detail on the figure may not be quite as nice as what you see on most Safari LTD figures from their main line however it does still sport some really nice detail overall and is still a very appealing sculpt and I think still sports quite a lot of really nice sculpt and detail overall and along with with the very nice paint job that we've been given again there's not too much applied but what is applied is very nicely applied and there isn't much sloppiness to the figure at all so this is a really cool Spinosaurus figure I'm definitely psyched to now have it in my collection so if you would like to add it to your collection I will include a link in the description to where you can do just that on the Safari LTD website so make sure you Head on over to the Safari LTD website. I want to remind you guys one last time to make sure you use the code ANDY at checkout to save yourself 15% off of this or any other Safari LTD figures that you are going to order. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.